Now the serpent, who was craftier than any of the creatures that the Lord God had made, came to Eve, saying, Did God really say not to eat of any tree in the garden? We may eat the fruit of any tree, except the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Of that tree we must never eat, for if we do, God said we shall surely die. Come now, you will not surely die. For God knows that if you eat from that tree, your eyes will be opened, and you will be like God, knowing good and evil. God said we should not even touch this tree. Tempted by the serpent's words, Eve turned her gaze to the forbidden tree. She saw it was good for food, pleasant to the eyes, and desirable for gaining wisdom. So Eve went against God's command, and she ate of the fruit of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. and shared it with her husband, who was with her. After eating the forbidden fruit, the two realized for the first time they were naked. They quickly gathered fig leaves, interweaving them to cover their naked bodies. And when they heard the sound of God, as he was walking in the garden in the cool of the day, Adam. they hid from God's presence. Adam. Adam. Where are you? I... I heard your voice in the garden, and I was afraid because I was naked. Who told you you were naked? Have you eaten from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil? The tree from which I commanded you not to eat? The woman you gave to be with me, she gave me the fruit from the tree, and I ate it. Eve, what have you done? The serpent! He deceived me! And so, I ate. And the Lord God said to the serpent, because you have done this, cursed are you, cursed above all living creatures. You shall crawl on your belly and eat the dust of the earth all the days of your life. And I will put enmity between you and the woman and between her offspring and yours. He will crush your head, and you will bruise his heel. Then the Lord God said to Eve, I will multiply your sorrow in childbearing. In great pain shall you give birth. Your desire shall be for your husband, and he shall rule over you. And then unto Adam God said, Cursed is the ground because of you, for you have listened to your wife, and have eaten from the tree I commanded you not to eat. All the days of your life you shall have to work the ground. In sorrow and sweat, 
You shall work the ground for your food until you return to the ground from which you were taken. For dust you are, and to dust you shall return. And the Lord God made garments of animal skins and clothed Adam and his wife. Then the Lord God said, Behold, the man has become like one of us, understanding good and evil. He must not be allowed to eat from the tree of life and live forever in such a state. So the Lord God drove the man from the Garden of Eden, along with his wife, to work the ground from which he was formed. And he placed at the east of the Garden of Eden his cherubim and a flaming sword which turned in every direction to guard the way to the Tree of Life. When the woman saw that the fruit of the tree was good for food and pleasing to the eye and also desirable for gaining wisdom, she took some and ate it. She also gave some to her husband who was with her, and he ate it. And the Lord God said, The man has now become like one of us, knowing good and evil. He must not be allowed to reach out his hand and take also from the tree of life and eat and live forever. So the Lord God banished him from the Garden of Eden to work the ground from which he had been taken. Genesis chapter 3 verse 6 and verses 22 and 23.